Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be talking about the Memorial Kiosk that Bungie mentioned in the latest TWAB. And I say latest because I'm recording this on Thursday and the TWAB has still not come out. So when I say latest for me, I, mean, I really mean last week's TWAB, not the one that came out yesterday. Because I'm most likely posting this on Friday. So let me reiterate that on last week's twab not yesterday's so <clears throat> if you guys don't know they basically said that you're going to be able to earn any of the raid exotics from the kiosk and that's a very key word you have to remind yourself earn you're going to be able to earn that weapon back so for me what i think is and would be really cool for like people like myself who grinded to get anarchy to kind of hold that uh To kind of hold the legacy of like it being a really hard grind would be something like the next raid that comes out the new one for beyond light it would be cool if instead of an exotic weapon which we were still most likely going to get an exotic weapon from that raid but it's probably going to go the down the path of garden of salvation where it's connected to a quest and once you complete the quest steps all you have to do is complete the raid and then you'll get it which personally i don't mind at all I know a lot of newer players kind of jump on the idea of, oh, veteran players just want newer players to go through the pain that they did, which to a certain extent, I can understand that. But when it comes to situations like this, where anarchy is like the best weapon in the game sometimes, or most times, I do think that that shouldn't be behind. It, that's where it's really weird because on one hand, it should be behind the raid because it's a it's the best weapon and the raid should be the hardest thing to do so on one hand the the greatest challenges should give you the greatest rewards but on the other hand on the casual side well i don't have a lot of people or i don't want to do the raid or on the like I, there's so many nuances to this so for me just just so you know which camp i sit on i think the greatest challenges should give the greatest rewards and if you do not want to do the raid or are unable to then I think you should be able to still get something of not equal value, but somewhat equal value, but in an easier path. So like an anarchy, a baby anarchy, that's not as great as anarchy, but something that's like as good. I, I don't know. It's hard to explain, but that's another video, but, <clears throat> but that's another video for another topic. So let's get back on topic. And the way I think they're going to do it is basically the way you're going to earn your exotic weapons is especially like the raid exotic is the new raid is most likely going to drop some sort of exotic key or an exotic schematic or something like that where you go up to the kiosk and they'll be like all right what do you have oh you have an exotic key okay well you can get either anarchy or teraba make it the same drop rate as, as it is now even give it the same uh protection as the ones they have now just make it a drop chance i would be super okay with that considering that a lot of people would be okay with that because that's how it works now and it would not diminish the rarity of anarchy or teraba because it's basically the same thing just in a new raid and the way you get it is just different i think that would be a great way a very fucking great way to introduce like this type of situation where old raids are leaving but exotics are still there or even weapons it would be cool if we could re-earn weapons from older like older raids with random rolls or better rolls and the kiosk is just like a really big menu or menu within menus of like all right i want the i have a key for well, let me let me get, get, find a good example i have a key for scourge of the past for the for the scout rifle oh, okay cool uh here here's your random roll scout rifle and then you get it and it's the, the current season i would love for this kiosk to really just extend to not just exotics but just everything can you imagine if this kiosk had every weapon from every destination from every raid from every encounter from everything of destiny vanilla 2 to all the way what is it to warmind and what is getting cut out so season nine, which is season of opulence all the way down, everything, all of that in menus and basically 
like maybe season 13 is like okay this season you're gonna be able to get this like season nine or season of opulence weapons and armors back that would be cool that'd be a really cool way to like really reintegrate old stuff into the current meta and honestly i would love to see that but i would still kind of probably hate it because they're really just selling stuff back to us kind of but i don't know it's this is such a gray area for me like it's so weird so yeah let me know what you guys think about my cuckoo theory because i do think it's very very out there what's well, most likely gonna be it's just gonna be like how the postmaster is now but with each exotic that we can't get anymore and then like oh do you want this one yes click it okay you got it now that's most likely how it's gonna be me personally i would love it for it to be like this really big menu of like de like destiny vanilla with all of its contents and activities then curse of osiris war mind uh forsaken and all of, like all of its contents right there just you click like oh all right let me go to forsaken then let me go to uh, forsaken fuck forsaken no let's not go for forsaken let's go to season of the forge and let's go to the forges weapons i want the lmg back okay cool and to a certain point it would be cool if we had like chances of getting like the roles that we wanted that would be cool i'm telling you like they could do a lot with the kiosk but what's most likely going to happen is just like i said it's going to be like the postmaster and just the weapons there and then just click and then you got it you have it it's going to be very simplified which is unfortunate because if I remember correctly, Luke Smith said this, this was supposed to be an MMO, but it just feels like the poor man's MMO. But that's neither here nor there. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And am I asking for too much? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you everyone for the constant support. Thank you everyone, all the new subscribers. Welcome. Uh, make yourself at home. If you want to talk shit, by all means, I welcome it. But, you know, if you want to be nice and have start a conversation, I'd very much appreciate that. So be safe, guys. You guys know what's happening in the world. It's fucking wild right now. Just be happy, safe, healthy, and I will see you guys later.